Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. God is good. God's good all the time. Uh, he loves us. He created us. He has plans for us. Why not let him be in control of your life today? Why not give him all the big responsibilities and you kind of sit back and take on just simply being obedient to his plan? A word of scripture today, a word of encouragement comes from uh, Paul's letter to Titus, Titus chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. And Paul says that this, Remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good, to slander no one, and to be peaceable and considerate, and to show true humility toward all men. As Christians, it should be our desire to be obedient to God who's in authority over us. As such, we also want to be obedient to those that God has placed in authority over us. You know, one of the great things about living in the United States is the opportunity to vote. Every four years, we vote for a president. In different cycles, we vote for, for people who, who lead our country. Um, it's our opportunity to, to get and have a say. And all Americans get out to, and vote and have a say. And then when someone's elected, we may not have been voted for them. Maybe we don't care for all their policies. But we believe that God has placed them there with his purpose in mind. And so, therefore, we want to support them. In the midst of this pandemic, uh, we are still wanting to support them. I know that many of us want to get out and do more things. Many of us want to be relieved of the burden of staying at home and of, of being kind of at this spot. But the reality is, is that we are called to be obedient. We are called to show that we're not above uh, the law or above those whose God has placed in authority. In fact, Paul says to be considerate and to show true humility, true humility toward all men. It's, it's the idea that we're not being obedient simply because of who they are. We're being obedient because of who God is to us, because we believe in God and all that God does. Today in your life, uh, we're going to come up against different things. And it may be an easy day for you. It may be a tough day. Uh, lots of different things going on in our lives. But either way, God is in charge. Either way, God walks beside us. Either way, God has a plan. And we're going to find the most joy, the most hope, the most love if we're simply obedient to him. The question shouldn't be, should I be obedient to the government around me? But the question should be, is how can I love people around me? How can I be minister to people around me? How can I show God's love in all that I do? Whether it's the people above us or below us in, stat in, in, in life or in stature, how can we show God's love in such a way that they want to come to know God? If you're like me, we've been praying uh, for a long time for this pandemic to end and move forward. But we also need to be praying that it opens the eyes of people. That God uses us as his vessels to show people what it means to serve God and to love God and who God is. Because God is real. God is there. God is the one true God. And they can all find him and find that joy. So let's focus today more on sharing who God is uh, and the opportunities God gives us. So let's focus more on being obedient rather than being objective, uh, objectable to what's going on. And I trust that God will bless you through that. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. Father, I know that some are dealing with tough issues in their life. Some simply want to get out from under some of these rules and, and maybe get back to work or get out and have fun or, or whatever the case is. But Father, we believe that you've placed uh, these men and women in these positions for a specific reason. Father, we may not always agree with their, their policies or their plans of action, but Father, we want to be obedient to you. So Lord, may your spirit speak to our hearts. Uh, may we hear your words and may we move forward uh, in love as we love people around us. Father, most of all today, would you use us to build your kingdom? Would you let your light uh, shine in us and through us and out onto others? Would your love overflow in our lives, onto the lives of those around us that they might come to know you? Father, although we're not grateful for this pandemic necessarily, we're grateful for the opportunity we have to use it to further your kingdom. And so, Father, we offer ourselves to you today. Father, bless those today who need your help, whether it be physically, financially, um, spiritually, or emotionally. Father, we all have different needs, and we don't minimize those at all. So, Father, take on each one as only you can. Answer those prayer requests in accordance with your will. And may your people feel your love and your hope and your joy. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. And as you make yourself subject to those in authority around you, I believe that God will bless that and use you to build his kingdom. You know, it's Friday. We're just a couple days away from our Sunday service. So we hope that you'll not only join us uh, tomorrow, but join us on Sunday for our service as well at 11. 
But just know that we love you and we appreciate you and we're praying for you today. If you need something specifically prayed for, please call me or text me or whatever. I'd be happy to pray with you. Um, you're loved. God loves you and we do too. Have a great day. God bless.